Assalamu alaikum and hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I would like to discuss about inventory system. There are two types of inventory system. Number one, periodic inventory system. And number two, perpetual inventory system. So we can see the difference between periodic inventory system and perpetual inventory system. Number one, under periodic, it requires businesses to obtain a physical count of inventory to measure the level of inventory and cost of goods sold. Whereas under perpetual inventory system, it keeps track of inventory balances continuously with updates made automatically whenever a product is received or sold. The second one, it, under periodic inventory system, it updates inventory records only periodically, whereas under perpetual inventory system, it updates inventory records continuously. Under periodic number three, a physical inventory count is taken to determine the balance of inventory and cost of goods sold at the end of accounting period. And under perpetual inventory system, the cost of goods sold and the balance of inventory are available at all time. Number four. Under periodic purchases, goods are recorded in a purchase account and under perpetual inventory system, purchases of inventory recorded directly in inventory account. Now you can see, we can see the difference between periodic inventory system and perpetual inventory system. How? to record journal entry for inventory transaction. Under periodic inventory system, when purchase goods on account, debit purchase and credit account payable. This is uh, under periodic inventory system and under perpetual inventory system, debit inventory and credit account payable RM320,000. So we can see the difference under periodic we use purchase account and under perpetual we use inventory. The second one sold goods on account RM450,000 and cost of goods sold RM270,000. So under periodic inventory system, debit account receivable and credit sales revenue. But under perpetual inventory system, we had to record two journal entry, two sets of double entry system. First one, debit account receivable and credit sale. RM450,000 and we have to record the cost of goods sold for perpetual inventory system. So debit cost of goods sold RM270,000 credit inventory RM270,000 credit side that means the inventory decrease. The third transaction under periodic return damaged goods to supplier RM20,000. So debit account payable and credit purchase return and allowance RM20,000. But under perpetual inventory system, debit account payable and credit inventory RM20,000. So you can see the difference. Under periodic, we use purchase, return, and allowance account. But under perpetual inventory system, we have to use inventory account. 
Number four, goods written by customer RM35,000 and cost of goods sold RM30,000. So under periodic, debit, sales, return and allowance, credit account receivable. But under perpetual inventory, we have to record to set off double entry system. The first one, sales return, debit and account receivable, credit at M35,000. And we have to record for cost of goods sold. Debit inventory at M30,000 and credit cost of goods sold. So you can see the difference between periodic inventory system and perpetual inventory system. Now, this is the format for perpetual inventory system where we have to record in the table given the date, the purchases, cost of goods sold and the balance. We have to record the transaction in order. We have to record from uh, starting with beginning, inventory, purchase, sales and last one, purchase, sales and last one we will get at the end of the period, we can calculate cost of goods sold and we have calculate ending inventory under the balance column and cost of goods sold under COTS column. And under periodic inventory system, this is the step we have to prepare using this is the step that we have to prepare when you use periodic inventory system number one you have to calculate ending inventory units we must use the formula beginning inventory unit plus purchases and less sales in unit the second step we have to calculate ending inventory cost ending inventory cost means that ending inventory unit times cost per unit or average cost per unit depends on the method whether FIFO method, LIFO method or average method. The third one, we have to calculate cost of goods sold. So you want to calculate, this is the formula, beginning inventory plus purchases less ending inventory. And the last one, we have to calculate Cross profit, sales less cost of goods sold. And that's all for perpetual inventory system versus periodic inventory system. Don't forget to watch my next video and don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Thank you.